Hey, hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to find the length of an array in C++. So let's get started. So I think there isn't any direct way to find the length of array like by using an inbuilt function. And the method that I'm going to show is like the most commonly used way to find the length of an array. So let's just jump into it. So first let me declare an integer array. Okay, let int arr be my array. And let, let have some values like 1, 2, 3, 100 and 5. So we have here 5 elements. Okay. So first let me write the formula to find it and then I will briefly explain you what it means. So see out size of, so this is the function, inbuilt function that we'll be using, arr, which is the array name in my case, slash, same thing, just copy this, just paste it over here, arr of 0, okay, that's it, just this one line of code, okay, and no other extra header file is also required. So let me just now save it. Execute and run it now. So I'll be getting five. Okay, so this is a number of elements now present in my array. So now I will briefly explain you what this code means. Okay, so let me just comment this out and I will just copy this first. Okay, I will just paste it. Okay, so really simple. Let's go line by line. So the function of the size of operator is used to return or find the total number of bytes that is used or occupied by the entire array ARR. So if I just now execute and run it now, I'll be getting 20 in the output. Okay, I'll be getting 20. So the reason is obvious. We have five elements in the array. Okay, five elements. And here you can see in talk by two or four bytes. So in our case, each element, each integer element in our array has occupied four bytes. So this one will occupy by four. 2 will occupy 4, 3 will occupy 4, 4, 5 as 4 as well. So 5 elements occupying 4 bytes each. So 5 into 4 which gives us 20. So this entire array will occupy 20 bytes. Okay, that's done. So this is the first part. Okay, and let me just just paste it and here of 0. Okay, So this is obvious I guess. We are just finding the number of bytes occupied by the 0th element. Okay, 0th element, 0th index which is only in this case. So let me just save it. And I'll just comment this as well and execute and run it now. I'll be getting 4 in the output, which is obvious. Okay. So, as you can see, here, I'm getting 4 in the output. So, it's really simple. Okay. So, now I think this formula makes sense to you. We are just dividing the total number of bytes of that entire array by the number of bytes of a single element in present in that array. Okay. And this can be error of 0, error of 1, because it's going to be 4 for each element. So, it will be just now uncomment this and comment this to just save it and if I just now put here of 2 over here okay 2 corresponds to 3 but that's also going to be 4 only okay so if I just now execute and run it I'll be getting same 5 okay that isn't going to change so only thing is that this array index that we are passing element that we are passing should be in the within the array don't pass something here of 100 because we I'm not having here here of 100 okay so really simple uh, if you want let me just have a comment okay so Total, total size of the array, okay, which is in bytes, okay, divided by the size of size of an element, an element that is single element in in an array, okay. That's it. That is also in byte. Okay. So this is the simple formula and simple way we can find the size of an array in C++ and usually they will be just putting here of zero. Okay, that's the standard way how they do it. And I hope you have found this video useful. I have also done many other programming videos in C++. So do check them. Subscribe me. Thanks for watching.